Hi, it's Terry Marie here, and I'm with a legend who has been an icon in the sports industry for over 40 years. He needs no introduction, but I'm going to let him introduce himself and tell us what he's been doing lately and tell us um, his involvement in a new and exciting platform called Sportamix. How are you? I'm fine, thank you, um, and happy to be here. Uh, I have represented professional athletes since 1975, 62 first round draft picks in the NFL, including eight years where I represented the first player picked in the first round. And we have nine players in the Hall of Fame, have done baseball, basketball, written a couple of best selling books, um, was the model for films like Jerry Maguire, and uh, worked on Any Given Sunday, and the whole fundamental rationale for our practice is the athlete as role model, retracing their roots and trying to make a positive difference in the world. And that's interesting that you bring up, because um, your life has been modeled after Jerry Maguire, who is your Cuban Gooding Jr.? I'm just curious. <laughs> <laughs> I've always wanted to ask you that. I think uh, it was a cross between Warren Moon, who played for 23 years as a quarterback, and then Tim McDonald. Cameron Crowe watched Tim McDonald at the league meetings back in 1993, who was a free agent and he was trying to find a team. And uh, Tim actually was the one who, when Cameron asked, what are you doing here? What are you looking for in a team? Tim said, I'm looking for a team to show me some respect. I'm looking for a team to show me some love and I'm looking for a team to show me the money. Show you the money, the famous line. So I want to ask you why we got you here today, how you got involved in Sportamix. I got involved, um, I, I've been excited about any breakthrough in technology or in the ability to unify uh, people in the world of sports uh, through high tech and through the internet. So our, our world has changed and we now receive information mostly uh, on the multiple platforms of uh, content supply. So there's really not been a product which took the worldwide scope and was able to provide athletes with the ability to, to use that website and to then interact with coaches, executives at teams, professional scouts, and other people. And this allows an athlete to do the right type of display of what his skill set is, and to get in touch and link up with a variety of different people that might help enhance his sports career. Yeah, so this is like coaches, athletes, um could be team executives, could be athletic departments, could be a variety of different people, but the athletic supply in all sports, and it's football, baseball, basketball, soccer, uh, hockey, uh, Olympic sports, uh, it could be anything from volleyball to the rest. The talent supply is universal, the ability of some of that talent to be able to reach uh, a team or a college uh, and to understand how to best showcase their skills has not really been there. And how do you think this would have changed, um, let's say, your past career if you had this years ago? Well, this I technology. think it would have uh, gotten us as agents to be much more aware of a variety of different athletes in different fields. I think it would have helped the athletes because they would have had a more direct way to contact uh, coaches. Um, it would have helped the coaches because they would have a way, better way to scout talent and realize what was available and uh, out there. And so for coaches, for scouts, for executives, at both the collegiate and high school level, it could make a major difference. Yeah, and then when do you think a young athlete should start looking for an agent, or when should that agent start looking for those athletes? So NCAA rules uh, provide that a 
college student who's involved in athletics can't have an agent until after the last regular season game or team bowl game that year. However, they could talk to agents from when they emerged from their mother in the maternity ward. Mm -hmm. And as a matter of fact, I think there are probably agents uh, hanging out in hospital maternity wards looking for healthy mothers and babies. Um, they could do it at any time and they can have discussions all they want. The earlier a relationship occurs between a prospective uh, family and an agent, normally it's the families that we're talking to. So a father or mother will take charge of the process. So developing a real friendship as opposed to just going and pitching is probably better. And then what do you tell athletes not to get discouraged or what, what is your advice to them? So the most critical quality in some ways in longevity for athletes is resilience. Mm -hmm. It's the ability to understand that for every failure, there can be a following success. So it's motivating them to look to the long term and not to be discouraged or depressed by momentary setbacks. It's a long career span, it's a long season, there's always chance for redemption. So one of the wonderful things about sports is someone can be a failure in one context and yet very successful in another. So it's key for someone who has that dream and has that passion and the interest in, in being involved in athletics. They need to keep that front and center so they don't give in to discouragement or dismay. Is there an athlete that you worked with in the past that you see kind of similar qualities that kind of sticks out in your mind? Well, take someone like Warren Moon who played for six years in the Canadian Football League and 17 years in the NFL and is currently in the Hall of Fame. He wanted to play quarterback in the NFL but the league wasn't quite ready at that point for African-American uh, quarterbacks. Mm -hmm. And he spent the first six years of his career in Canada in the Canadian Football League. And at times he was like a kid who's homesick, looking through a window at his friends playing outside with that longing look that he wanted to be in the NFL. But had he ever given up his dream of playing in the NFL, uh, he never would have got there and instead he ended up signing the largest veteran contract and uh, playing in, in that league. Um, there's always failure in sports. When we're trying to identify who will be a big success, for example, as a franchise quarterback, mm -hmm. it's someone who in adversity, they've thrown a couple interceptions, the crowd is booing them, the center's looking at them like they're on hallucinogens and the game is getting out of hand, do they have the ability to compartmentalize, tune out the external distractions, adopt a quiet mind, and then elevate their level of play to take a team on their back? Uh, my young client Patrick Mahomes was many points behind in Monday Night Football mm -hmm. against the Denver Broncos this week, and he just as easily could have decided this game is out of hand, but instead he kept coming and coming against all odds and ultimately they won the game. So that's the quality you're looking for. What's your favorite thing about the company, about being involved with Sportamix? That it offers um, uh, an ability to fulfill the dreams and aspirations of young athletes around the world. Mm -hmm. A pathway, if you will, to get better exposure for their skill sets and hopefully to, to uh, maybe get a college scholarship, maybe get drafted or signed in a professional league. It also offers a convenient way for them to market themselves mm -hmm. because on this platform, they can control the content that they're putting up. They can make a very vivid presentation, not only of their athletic skills, but of uh, their character and personality and all the rest of it. I could even see Sportamix being used by advertisers and endorsers to take a look at prospective um, people that could fill that role mm -hmm. because uh, it's a, it's a, 
Webster's Dictionary of every, or an encyclopedia of every uh, existing player. It also serves a central function in that teams miss talent all the time. Kurt Warner ended up playing, uh, who's now in the Hall of Fame as a quarterback for the then St. Louis Rams, was out of football. No one would look at him. And he ended up being the MVP of the league so that the evaluation process of potential talent is not exact. And there are all sorts of people who also have skills that might be applicable. A Australian soccer player might turn into a kicker or a punter. Um, but they would never get that chance because no one's down scouting them at that level. Um, this provides a forum where the athlete can present himself in exactly the way that they want to. And it, it gives them exposure when they might be overlooked otherwise. And uh, give me an example of working with a seasoned athlete versus somebody fresh and new to the scene. So a rookie athlete fresh off the campus mm -hmm. is going through a process where first of all they have to get drafted so they go through scouting. Second of all, so we work with them on that process. Second of all, they have to be mentored in respect to how to get into that male or female bonding group, how to conduct themselves, and all the rest of it. So you're really helping someone set up their life. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> For a veteran athlete, they've been through all that. So they're much more sophisticated, much more savvy. So um, what would you say to young athletes who are looking to succeed in their sporting career? What advice would you give them? It's a matter not simply of physical talent. Mm -hmm. It's a matter of work habits. So when you see athletes that succeed, practice is a critical part of it mm -hmm. so that for every basket that LeBron James makes in front of a packed crowd. He's sitting alone in a gym shooting over and over and over again. For every sack a great defensive lineman makes in football, they have probably been studying the film of the offensive tackle who will go against them. So it's, again, looking at film, studying, its work habits are critical in the whole process. And then it's self-discipline. It's the ability to, to postpone current success for a future goal. So it means the ability to work out, to tone their bodies, to keep in shape, to always try and get better. So, Raw talent will not always get someone there. As a matter of fact, I can almost assure you that if you took the baseball, basketball, and football drafts, and you took the first round, that probably 40% of those players won't make it because players drafted in lower rounds will outwork them and will uh, have much more passion and desire. What are you the most proud of in your career in the last 40 years, you think? I think the charitable and community programs that our athletes have set up, it's Lennox Lewis, the boxer, mm -hmm. cutting a public service announcement that says, real men don't hit women. And he could do more to change rebellious adolescents' attitudes towards domestic violence than a thousand authority figures. Mm -hmm. It's work done putting 170 single mothers and their families into the first homes they'll ever own with his program, Homes uh, for the Holidays. It's Steve Young and Oscar De La Hoya putting a, a PSA program together that said um, racism and bigotry is foul play. It's athletes who understand that they have the power to tackle bullying or domestic violence or racism or at-risk kids and really make uh, a fundamental difference. And they can use their voice. Do you think this platform will help um, athletes use their voice for, for those kind of causes? I do. I think that they have the ability to really post whatever they want. And as Sportamix uh, goes through 
its developmental process and gets stronger and stronger as more and more athletes sign up, it will become the place to go to learn more about athletes, uh, not only domestically, but internationally. And you won't only learn about their athletic skills, they'll be able to convey who they are as human beings, what their interests are, what's valuable to them. So I see it having a powerful marketing aspect, not just in terms of job, but in character assessment and for endorsements. Yeah, so this is also an area where they think their fans can get a special relationship with um, some of these athletes and, and learn from them and grow with them. I put together a product called um, Athlete Direct back in the late 90s, which put athletes up on the internet at a time when you still had to go through AOL to get onto the internet. Mm -hmm. And we had the athletes do the first chats back and forth. Well, this has got interactivity to it, so it could even uh, actually work as a fan base. Mm -hmm. um, and as we know, every follower, it opens exposure for these athletes. Every follower they aggregate, whether it's on Sportamix, whether it's Twitter, Instagram, becomes currency in terms of the money they get paid for giving a speech, the uh, book contract they get for how endorsers look at which athletes they want to be. It's all about branding and exposure. And Sportamix offers a unique activity for each athlete to brand themselves, not only athletically, but in terms of what other skills and talents they have and, and what the quality of their character is and what their personality is like. And for charitable events and things yes. so forth. Yes. It also can be a powerful tool for charity. Yeah, that's, that's what I was thinking. So um, as we're talking about fans and their relationships with you know, athletes, what are some special relationships that you've had with some of your athletes? Well, I went with Warren Moon for uh, 23 years, and so that was very special. And he had me give his uh, speech presenting him at the uh, NFL Pro Football Hall of Fame, which was really unique. What happens is these are not traditional business relationships mm -hmm. because as I sit going to Patrick Mahomes' games, the f entire family is there. So it's his father who pitched Major League uh, Baseball. It's his godfather who pitched for 20 years. It's his mother, it's his girlfriend. So it takes a village, it takes a family to produce that. So the relationships become quite close. I was in the weddings of a number of the players and when I got married um, years ago, they were in my wedding. So it becomes a real caring component to it. So how will Sportamix help um, athletes and coaches that are looking for each other? Because a coach can uh, set up specific parameters for the type of athlete they're looking for. And these can both be performance-based and they can enter into the system precisely what the qualifications are for someone they're looking at. And Sportamix will find those athletes and feed it back to them. So it could be a swimmer and how fast they can swim 100 meters. It could be someone doing the breaststroke. It could be someone in a certain age group. It could be someone with a certain size and uh, uh, height. It, there are a variety of different ways in which coaches look at uh, trying to fulfill their needs both in recruiting and at the professional level. And we're not just talking about football, baseball, basketball, hockey, and soccer. There is swimming, there is diving, there are uh, games of cricket, there are a whole variety of different sports. So a coach can dial up the physical uh, productivity that he's looking for, that someone runs a 40 in a certain amount of time, that they can do a vertical leap, that they uh, have a certain amount of experience or lack of experience, and plug that in, and all of a sudden up pops uh, the profiles of uh, eligible athletes. So instead of having to waste time going through a endless amount of potential uh, prospects, they're able to more carefully uh, 
enter in just what they're looking for. Mm -hmm. And, and Sportamix will give it right back to them in, in uh, real time and enable the coach to be looking at people who are really qualified for uh, the type of role they're, they're trying to fill and not waste their time. And what about para-athletes uh, para and athletes with, um, with disabilities? I know there's an area for them also. So there's a whole para-athlete uh, 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 category. They have their own Olympic uh, uh, competition. And, but once again, you can have someone in track and field. You can have someone in swimming. You can have someone in skiing or snowboarding. Depending on what the need of a coach or an organization is or a, an executive, um, this becomes the equivalent of the old yellow pages and they can let their fingers do the walking. So instead of having to spend endless time and energy searching, Sportamix, because of its worldwide reach and because the athlete can tailor exactly what he's presenting, or she is presenting um, can take advantage, so it makes the whole process and interaction much smoother. Um, how do you think that coaches can benefit from a sport mix? Well, for one thing, when they establish the criteria they're looking for, it can be athletic. It can be how fast someone runs. It can be how high a vertical leap uh, that they do. It has got the ability to show them real-time film. Mm -hmm. and to, to actually see an athlete in a performance. It's got the ability to probe for character. It's got the ability to probe for intelligence. So you can take a look at the academic uh, achievements uh, of a given athlete. You can take a look at their background and record in terms of are they living a, a decent, clean life, you know, uh, are they going to be a behavioral problem? Um, one of the major problems that, that sports has had now is that athletes have great physical skills but turn out to have behavioral problems, mm -hmm. which either make them underperform or not perform at all, or they can't obey the rules of, of a given sport, and they can't be on time in the rest of it. So an athlete can profile where they are in terms of work habits, desire, intelligence, um, and for an athlete looking for a bright coach at a certain age group or a certain level of accomplishment, they can find it right there. So they can dial in their criteria and then Sportamix will feed back to them the eligible uh, or interesting athletes, so they're looking at a select few. It gives the ability to locate and find talent around the world and to showcase it in a way where without doing a thing, simply sitting in front of uh, their computer, the, the coach can reach around the world. So Sportamix lets you make profiles, so a mom can make a profile for her son. How do you think these profiles can help, um, you know, the soccer mom um, and, these, and the kids with these profiles to help them in their sporting career? It enables a coach to start tracking a player at a much earlier age. And, and this could be a coach for uh, a club sport. This could be somewhere in their youth to look at exactly, again, the criteria they want the parent can set up the profile for the child and you can have coaches and other folks following their progress from when they're eight years old to mm -hmm. when they're ready to enter a club sport, ready to go to uh, apply for a scholarship at a collegiate institution, ultimately at the professional level. So this offers parents who are looking to showcase their kids to put them on the map. These are people sometimes who may be off the beaten path. Uh, and they can do this and they can set it up with whatever criteria they want. So it can be academic, it can be character, it can be skills. <clears throat> it also enables the process to go the other way. So a coach can express to 
people within that sport that what he or she is looking for is a tape that's five minutes long, mm -hmm. not a half hour or an hour long, just the highlights or certain criteria in terms of uh, uh, speed or strength or uh, certain amounts of experience. In other words, it enables coaches to speak directly to this whole athletic community, not only here in America, but around the world, uh, to tell them exactly what they're looking for. It streamlines and offers coaches a greater reach. So this is not just one party communication. This is an interactive process where coaches can reach out to kids, kids' parents can put them on the net, and the athletes can reach back out to the coaches. So it encourages all sorts of interactivity and precision, again, so that the scope and outreach that a coach can get is much broader than anything he'd be able to do on his own. Mm -hmm. And the simplicity and ease of it makes it uh, possible to, to advance their goals. So it's a win-win for everyone in the athletic community. And to go a point further from that I was just thinking about is that the global exposure that, the, the, you know, you're, if you're a soccer mom, you get your kid to have global exposure and maybe to talk to athletes that you might not, maybe not know about or learn about, how do you think that will um, play an effect? So there are sports that are played internationally like uh, soccer or what they call outside the United States football. Mm -hmm. um, and that talent can come from anywhere. It can come from any country, come from any age group. And yet we don't, so that if you look at American teams in a variety of different sports, they're playing with uh, players from Nigeria and Australia and, and Japan. And so it, it broadens the scope that, that a coach in country A has. He's now got international reach to try to fill his needs. And for that player, he's now got international exposure to potential coaches or executives, to colleges, to team or club sports, and, and ultimately in the professional uh, concept. So that can be dialed up. Every pro team has a director of pro player personnel who's desperately looking for players that can enhance. Injury occurs and a coach needs to be able to find the best talent available instantaneously. This also is a communications um, uh, platform. Mm -hmm. So again, not only can the coach uh, send out, but it can be used for charitable uh, causes. It can be used to impart information and messaging. It can be used to promote ethics and good sportsmanship. It can be used to um, uh, encourage the best values, self-respect, self-discipline, teamwork. It can be a real tool for enhancing uh, the world of sports and the world in general. Yeah, and then we're talking about these profiles. How do you think these profiles can make a positive impact? So you've got families, athletes out there. They can create exactly what they want the world to see. They can take their skill set as it occurs uh, from an athletic standpoint, but they can also take all the personality qualities that they think are pretty special and, and their academic achievements. They can take all of this and put it into one profile. And so they're getting to present exactly what they want the world to see. So no longer are they frustrated because they feel like that people don't recognize this facet or this facet, they can make sure to present the facet themselves. And no longer will the coaches be frustrated because all they're getting is a, si a list of uh, heights and weights and, uh, uh, or ages, but they can look behind the curtain mm -hmm. to really get a sense for who this young person is. And have a social interaction. It, with the and, and interact. So it's, um, um, it, it, it's a breakthrough 
uh, that's very much like FaceTime in that it, it, it can be used over that net to create all sorts of interesting relationships. So this is such a powerful tool. What do you think that um, is going to happen with the launch of Sportmix, Sportmix? Well, I think it's got some unique factors that are enhancements to anything that exists at this point. There obviously are other forums that have athletes on them. The internet's been here a long time. Sportamix has been able to take all the advancements that have occurred in uh, social interaction and messaging and to figure out how to, in a practical way, give athletes, their parents, the larger coaching community, scouts, organizations, ability to create a town hall, if you will, of interactivity. And so it takes advantage of some of the advancements in uh, the internet and technology and what can be done. So it, it fills a solution but can end up being much, much more. And it offers a door or a window for any athlete to get exposure. So Sportamix registration is open, so go to sportamix.com. Would you like to add anything? If you are a young athlete, if you're the parent or family of a young athlete, if you're a coach, someone looking for talent, if you're an executive looking for the best in talent, come join us. Join our network. You'll find opportunity available in ways that it wasn't before. It can enhance your whole life. So log on to Sportamix.